Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we went blonde and this one is straight out of the box. I was able to make this one look absolutely gorgeous as a blonde wig for brown skin. So while I don't think that blondes have more fun, I definitely love to have a little fun in blonde sometimes. I love to dabble a little bit. I remember when I first started out, I thought I could only look good if it was like ash blonde. So if you go back to the OG videos, I would always use the Willa Toner or I think it was like the well, the box dye that ash blonde box dye and while I still love the look and vibe of that I actually might do that to this wig what do you think I still love the way that looks but also I feel like I have mastered the art of making a wig a blonde wig look good straight out of the box so I'm going to show you my techniques and how I installed this one straight out of the box it came with a beautiful like light wavy texture so I did amp it up a little bit and give it a little bit more of a flat iron curl and that came out super beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the install process. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, ladies, jumping right into it. This is the wig straight out of the box. Here I am showing you the inside construction of the cap. We are doing a free part lace frontal wig and it does come with the elastic band. This gives a little bit extra support. Here is a look at the hairline. As you guys can see, it's a very beautiful hairline and I have to go ahead and pull my wig cap back so that you don't see it. Even though my wig cap is HD, it definitely is giving like skin lace, even on a blonde wig. A lot of the times with blonde wigs, you'll end up with like super hard lace and this is not that. Definitely super duper great quality. Also here I am pulling the hair back and I'm just going in to customize the wig. I am cutting the lace around the ear and this is going to give the wig a custom snug fit for me. Because this is a blonde wig and I am brown, dark brown, I'm using my edge control from bdeckbeauty.com to just go ahead and slick my edges back. Now this doesn't seem like it'll make a big deal, but it definitely does. I feel like naturally my edges will peek forward and when you slick them down, it kind of will make a clean, neat way to conceal them with the lace on top. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut off all of the excess lace. I am just using a pair of scissors, but you can use tweezers. Also, you can go ahead and tint the lace before this step or any customizations you would like to do. Also here I am doing a glueless install. We're using the Eben product in the color yellow. I do get this from Amazon and it's super affordable. I like this because it gives a glueless install but it does bomb the wig down temporarily. Now this is not something that you use and then get on a flight to Dubai and expect to be gone for a week and your wig lays. Wherever you go when you travel, you must bring something to reinforce it if the wig is not glueless or else getting in the water sweating too much or things like that may cause your wig to lift another great thing about this is that it doesn't leave behind any residue so in that case it's easy to kind of you know reinstall a couple times throughout the week to get you by now that the wig is completely installed it is time to style her up you guys know before we treat the ends we like to go ahead and work on the lace i'm doing the dynamic duo here which is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and this combo is like magic it's like fire i love this because it gets your wig super flat it makes it look super neat around the hairline as well as the parting and it just gives everything you need and more now i'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing along the hairline before we even start the baby hair process i do want to mention there is a coupon code in the description box so be sure to check that out for a nice little savings on your next purchase for mega look hair here I am pulling some hair forward to make baby hair. So a lot of us don't like baby hair. You guys already know if you are not a stranger to my channel that I absolutely love baby hair. And in the case of a blonde or like a brown wig with blonde highlights, I do still love it with this because I feel like it just makes it look better without doing anything in the front of the lace. Um, it doesn't matter how well you melt it. I feel like you can make it look beautiful on social media but if you have a 
melanated complexion even if you're not as brown as me i just feel like in person you can just see exactly where that lace starts no matter how melted you get it no matter what your lace tint is no matter what it may look good but you can see that lace and just blonde lace i don't know i like baby hair <laughs> in conclusion and so i did do baby hair and i did do the curling method and i did add a little even product onto the baby hair to just help it to hold the curl i formed with the pencil flat iron and i'm just touching it up till i get it perfect here it is perfect and then here is the side with no baby hair you tell me your choice i personally like the baby hair side better now i did the opposite side off camera and i'm just going to use this maybelline fit me foundation this is an affordable foundation that you can get at your local your local drug store let me slow down talking and i do have it and i believe this is 360 like coconut or mocha it's a nice chocolate color and you guys see how beautifully it uh makes the parting melt with my own complexion now the only mistake i did was i did tint the hairline with powder and on camera it does look beautiful but in pictures it did come up a little bit too um maybe chalky is the word honestly just looking back at the footage i preferred what the hairline looked like with no lace so i could have done exactly what i did but just using like a light touch with a blending uh makeup brush like a blending eyeshadow brush just a little light wash of it instead of packing it in would have better been a better choice but of course this is makeup which comes right out very easily so i'm definitely gonna fix that off camera also i am curling the hair with a flat iron which is the easiest way to curl hair i'm gonna do the opposite side off camera and i did not use any product any serums or any holding spray and i just wanted to amp up the ends more than anything and not really take the curl up too high all in all it came out beautiful and all the details on this wig are in the description box including my dimensions and density and all of that okay guys so we are done with the look um i was finishing up curling this side when the camera just died and i was like it's kind of perfect because i'm gonna do this side off camera and then it was bath time for the kids so it was like bath time pick out clothes put a load in the dryer and then i got into tiktok so here we are now and the curls have dropped a little bit but you know i really didn't want like the whole thing to be full goldilocks i liked the way this one looks already straight out of the box i just wanted to add a little bit more definitions just a quick and simple one too nothing too crazy and it came out amazing for this to be a brown skin friendly wig or to be a blonde wig and i made it brown skin friendly it's phenomenal no smoke and mirrors just a little love to the wig and just paying attention to what matches my complexion this one did come from mega look and this is the packaging but inside of the packaging was this um bag here and it's just filled with some little free goodies. We did get a pack of wig caps. We also got an edge brush. We got a pack of lashes. And then we got a melt belt. We got this like beachy vibes hair clip, which you guys have seen me um, show you these from this company before. It has like the pearls and like the little starfish. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go from here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope this one inspired you to step out of the box when it comes to color. Typically with blonde, we like to go ahead and use that Wella toner and get it to like that ash blonde or even the, the box dye, what is it, Revlon that I used to use to get it to that ash blonde. And actually I am itching to do that. So the next blonde wig I get, I probably will go ash blonde and kind of wear it for a minute in real life but i wanted to show you guys that this beautiful color and you guys can see it's blonde but it has a warm um dimension in it and i was able to make it look really good straight out of the box without going in and dyeing it because a lot of us don't know how to color treat our hair it's absolutely gorgeous and of course it's in the description box thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches